Hello and welcome to the Daily Forex Report for April 5th. We are looking at the U.S.-Japanese yen pair. This pair surged to the upside uh, during today's session, closed above previous resistance or pretty much right at it, still moving to the upside. Look for it to potentially go up and hit resistance around 85.50, possibly moving down and hitting support at 83.75. Now the Euro USD pair, this pair closed up just by a little bit, uh, could mean a reversal. We are looking for this pair to potentially go as high as 143.16, possibly as low as 140.81. Look for some resistance around 142.75 and look for some support around 141.50. Now the pound US dollar pair, it moved uh, much higher, moved very quick to the upside, very large range. We are looking for this pair to potentially go as high as 164.67, possibly as low as 160.18. Look for some resistance around 163.50 and look for some support around 162.15. Now the US Swiss, this pair closed, uh, did break the previous session's high so we didn't have an inside bar uh, within an inside bar. However, uh, it didn't do much. It just kind of moved sideways. Overall, looking for it to potentially go as high as 193.23, possibly as low as 091.49. Look for some resistance around 092.75 and look for some support around 091.75. Now, as far as news analysis go, we have the gross domestic product estimate uh, for March being released for the pound. Uh, consensus on that, uh, well, there's no consensus. Previous was at 0.2%. At 5 a.m. Eastern Time, we have the Eurozone releasing their gross domestic product for the fourth quarter. They're showing a hold at 0.3%. Uh, year to date, they're showing a hold at 2.0% uh, for the gross domestic product for the year. Any numbers higher than that would be good news for the euro. We also have at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time the Australian unemployment change for March being released. No consensus. Previous was negative 10.1k. Now what am I looking for during this next session? Well if you go to the euro USD and back out a little ways a good ways actually you can see that we are in an uptrend obviously uh, you can draw a, tr a trend line tagging some of these lows here uh, basically getting a, a trend line to the upside you can also do one from here the very low and tag some of the lows uh, along the way once you get up to where we're at currently it all gets uh, around the same price essentially we did form a swing trade setup here. We have a lower low in the bar in the middle, uh, in the uh, or a higher high than the bar before it and after it, and a higher low than the bar before it and after it. So we have a swing trade setup. It is a an extremely steep uh, line. You can see that we've uh, almost tested it once already during this session. This session just got started. Uh, so what we're looking to do is basically for a break of that right about there uh, looking for a break to the downside and then see it come on down to this first trend line now if you notice that uh, this point right here in the trend line is very similar to the low here that's not a coincidence uh, it also lines up with here so there is some uh, support that's in action there so look for basically a short right about here looking to go short and looking for it to come down to this point and exit at that point. Uh, I'm going to use a risk to reward of one to one basically risking uh, one to make one. That's risking about 70 pips to the upside so that would be right about here which is above some of the previous areas of uh, resistance that we've had and looking for it to shoot down to this point. So that is what I'm looking at over this next session. I do believe that we will see that happen. Do be aware that we could hit some previous uh, areas of support right here. You can see here and here that it was resistance and here it was support again. So do be aware of that as this pair comes down. We could hit some previous areas of support at about 42 pips down. 
um, and then 70. So at this point, you definitely want to go to break even if you haven't already. That about wraps us up for today. Until next time, this is Jason Fielder. Good trading.